Somebody's in trouble. This can't be good. The boss is back. The following contest is a no disqualifications handicap match. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 257 pounds. You know, Corey, but sometimes we show up at hotels McMahon. in different towns at three or four o'clock in the morning. Mr. McMahon's there with his trainer heading to the gym. The physical embodiment of success. The man's got grapefruits the size of small planets and has to feel like a billion dollars stepping into the ring amidst his own creation. The mood changed. Big Luke Gallows. And by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 292 pounds, Luke Gallows. Six foot eight, educated hands and feet. He's a bad, bad dude. Uh, known as one of the toughest superstars to ever compete in Japan. And he has successfully brought that toughness to WWE. from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 130 pounds, the NXT European Champion, the Dragon. An interesting match here, guys, as we're about to witness a one-on-three matchup. Well, the numbers game certainly is concerning here, Michael, but as they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. Good brother time. And by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson. Man, he's come a long way from his days of teaming with that goof bat bloom. <laughs> You're absolutely right. From the other side of the world in Japan to right here in WWE, Carl Anderson has a reputation for wreaking just as much havoc inside the ring as outside. Whether it was in Japan or even here in WWE, we've seen Carl Anderson as a tag team specialist, but take nothing away from this man's singles ability inside the ring. Handicap action underway here, guys. Hey, Corey, wow. what's been your favorite Mr. McMahon moment? When he was shaved bald or locked lips with Rikishi's posterior? 
For the safety of my job, I will not answer such questions, Byron. And if you value your job, you shouldn't be asking such questions. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? On second thought, ask me some more. Uh, uh, wait. Good point. What a stomp. Good grief. His shoulders are down. And Mr. McMahon with the kick out. So resourceful. Good golly, what a knee. Shoulder tackle. He wants no part of the outside. Putting it all on the line. What a dive! Mr. McMahon may be starting to fade here. He's up against an almost Man. unwinnable battle here in this handicap match. It's no, we got a cover. McMahon kicks out. What a kick out. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. That's gonna leave a mark. Byron, you touched on something earlier. Mr. McMahon can most definitely be vain, smug, pompous, adversarial. At one point, the chairman of WWE referred to himself as a genetic jackhammer. Byron, you showed up on television dressed like a baby. Who are you to insult Mr. McMahon? Mr. McMahon knows what's best for the WWE locker room and the WWE universe better than they do themselves. Sometimes you have to crack a few eggs if you want to make an omelet. If someone doesn't like what Mr. McMahon's doing, that's just too bad. Hammer can cause some serious damage. I think some people miscategorize Mr. McMahon's use of the stunner. There's a saying about all being fair in love and war. That certainly applies to the conflict between Mr. McMahon and the Texas Rattlesnake in finishing moves. And it's Mr. McMahon with the reversal. Really seems like Mr. McMahon is in a world of hurt. This effect my 401k. This could very well be the beginning of the end for him here in this handicap match. Corey, please, it takes an incredible amount of nerve to perfect your own version of opponent's finishing moves. That's what Mr. McMahon has done with the stunner as a deliberate slap in the face to stone cold Steve Austin. Guys, Mr. McMahon utilizing the stunner as a way to humiliate his adversaries and defeat opponents are direct shots at the Texas Rattlesnake, stone cold Steve Austin. kicks out. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. That hurt. A sharp one right to the cheekbone. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors involved. And if your superstar is outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, History's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. Mr. McMahon bought the company that would become WWE from his father, Vince McMahon Sr., in 1982, and transformed it from a successful regional promotion in the northeastern part of the United States to a national and then international company. Up until 1997, most people thought Mr. McMahon was a WWE announcer and did not know that he owned WWE. That revelation brought about an incredible change in sports entertainment as seen by Mr. McMahon's conflicts with Bret Hitman Hart in a historic rivalry with Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Attitude Era propelled WWE into the stratosphere as the company crushed Ted Turner's WCW in the Monday Night Wars. 
Mr. McMahon even survived an attempted overthrow by former WCW and ECW stars who were backed by his children and Paul Heyman, known as the Alliance. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination. Here it comes. Looking for Turk Slam. A vicious attack on Mr. McMahon right He goes for the cover. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Oh, my God, what impact. Jump up. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capital? He's got the shoulders down. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Remember this? These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. You can bet he's happy this handicap match is over. What a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you to everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us.